This video is how to prep the probe for space ore or transperineal fiducial markers. The last video explained how to set up the probe on the ultrasound. We're using the biplane probe. And for these procedures, we use just the regular NeoGuard transducer cover that we use for fusion biopsy. Uh, we only use one cover as opposed to two for these procedures and we will use the rubber bands. So make sure the staff doesn't throw out the rubber bands, but you only need one cover. There's no needle guide required because uh, we are going through the perineum with a freehand needle. There's, so there's no guide that gets put on the probe. It's just this cover with the rubber bands. So I'm just gonna put the camera down. We're gonna open the cover. We're gonna keep the rubber bands aside. So the difference in this procedure compared to setting up for a, a fusion biopsy transrectal with the other probe, the C41V, is that you know, normally we unroll the cover, just one unroll or two unrolls like that before we put the gel inside it. This one here, we're going to unroll a couple more times. So it's almost like twice as many unrolls, so like four unrolls to get about that length open. And then you're going to take your gel, and just as you do for the other procedures, it's easier if you have a cone tip. So if you don't have one, try to see if you can get one from your local service shop. Sometimes they have them. It's a lot easier because then you can roll up the cover and get a lot of the gel at the tip so there's not as much air bubbles inside. But if you don't have one, just do the best you can to get as much gel inside this portion of the cover. So we're gonna inflate it with gel. So I'm letting it go as I'm squeezing the bottle. And it's inflating, you can see the gel inflating. You want a lot of gel for these procedures because you wanna make sure we always see the gland and there's no gaps in the image. So if you make a mess, that's okay as long as you have a lot of gel in the cover. So see how full that is? And it's okay if there's a couple air bubbles because we're gonna try to get those out once we put the probe in. So at this point, we're gonna take the biplane probe and you just insert it. And just insert it a little bit and then un start unrolling it. Because otherwise, if you try to just push it on, all the gel is gonna come out. So you wanna have that little space here for the gel to press down. And you can see how much gel is at the tip. At this point, you can push it, just go gently and evenly and try to spread it down the probe so that it's covering this whole sagittal crystal here. So you want gel all the way down, covering it evenly. And you can see I'm, try I'm keeping the gel at that crystal. You don't want to spread it down to here because it's not going to do any good down here. You want it to basically stop so you can even hold your hand here and just spread it down evenly like that. I'm just squeezing gently. You can twist it around. So you want some at the tip. That way when they insert the probe, the gel will spread down over that axial crystal. And then this part here is completely covered with gel, the sagittal crystal. So at this point, we're gonna put the rubber bands on. So what I do is I kind of twist this part here. So it makes it a little bit like the gel is being pushed back up so it's not going to spread down so you can twist it a few times around and this part's a little tricky because these rubber bands are very tiny but you can take the rubber band go over the probe till about here and then this is part here is tough because sometimes the rubber band breaks but try to be gentle gentle don't pull it too tight it'll snap turn it one time over and then try to come up and you can push with the gel like that over and sometimes you have to use your fingers and kind of spread it so it can work down a little bit and then let go. You can see a little bit of gel went past it, but that's okay. Most of it got held. So you want the rubber band like maybe an inch and a half below the sagittal crystal. So now when the doctor inserts the probe, if the rectum is a little tight and the gel pushes, it's not going to all push down. It's going to stay here. And you can also cover this part here in gel as we normally do the procedures is just make sure the whole thing is covered and that way it goes in easily and there's even more gel so you know the more gel you can put here the better 
you can even put a big glob at the tip of it. That way when they insert it, it's all in there and they'll have a good picture throughout the whole exam. So that's how you prep the probe for a space ore or transparent needle fiducial markers. Same way, no needle guide, just one cover using the rubber bands, making sure that the gel is completely spread over the sagittal crystal and at the tip of the probe, about you know inch, inch and a half of gel. That way it covers the axial crystal. So this concludes how to prep the probe for the procedure.